Hello everyone, welcome back to Elks playing Stone Block 2, where I have we are basically ready. Uh we have got everything that we need, I believe, to put together our mob farm. However, what I don't have is a good idea of how. Uh I I do want to make this place ludicrous. You watch lots of people play uh mod packs like this. And it's all very well and good, and lots of people have some great ideas, but Ultimately, people always seem to go for this silly concept called efficiency, and I could really not care less about efficiency right now, because what we want to do, uh, really, is make this place look interesting. So, I mean, we've already got these up and down stairs, which are kind of pesky to walk around, but at the same time, they break up the visual nature of the... Like, if you watch... For, go watch Die Wolf play Stone Block 1. In fact, go watch... Forge one playing uh, stone block one right now. I will try and remember to leave a link in the description. But if I don't, apologies. Uh, they they have vaguely sort of nine by ninety uh, places, right? So every room is just a, a seven by seven, which is an external nine by nine, uh, which is easy to light up and all that sort of stuff. But it, everything connects together. Not to criticize, and uh, don't want, <laughs> I want people to think I'm saying, oh, these people are so rubbish at Minecraft. Why don't they decorate and things like that? It's not in some people's nature and that's fine um not everybody has to do everything the same way as everybody else so i wanted to make something that's a shush visually a bit more interesting uh than than that I mean, we're not really there yet <sighs> not really there yet because we kind of need the um the the materials to do so that's going to be the more difficult thing i think is actually finding the materials to, to do what we need. Doing it, I can do off. I mean, I said it before and I wasn't joking. I can watch Kimmy Schmidt until I run out of it. Uh, lead. And, oh, thank you. Really appreciate this, by the way. Uh, and, and just build and build and build. And maybe I'll do some of it on camera, maybe I'll do some of it off camera. But um, one thing that Direwolf does, and I'm, yeah, I'm saying Direwolf. Sometimes I say Direwolf and sometimes I say Northern Lion. When I'm talking about Minecraft, I usually mean Direwolf, because Direwolf does things in Minecraft. And although, mind you, Northern Lion has started doing things in uh, Minecraft as well now, so maybe I should watch that. Maybe you should watch that. You know, this is not a subscribe to PewDiePie because, you know, look, I, I, I'm not going to get into the politics of PewDiePie because I honestly have no idea what happened. Apart from that, he said something that lots of people didn't like. Everybody unsubscribed. And now everyone's like, subscribe to PewDiePie. I know the one's going, don't subscribe to PewDiePie because he's a dick, right? <laughs> Pardon the family-friendly filter, but, like, the whole point here is that he has hit hard times because he said bad things. Whereas Northern Lion, I don't think he's ever said anything that I disagree with. Uh, sometimes I say things that he disagrees with, but that's because he has no idea what it's like being English. Uh, because he is uh, very entitled because he's a North American and uh, I'm joking, mostly. Uh, so, yeah, I kind of genuinely want to see what Northern Lion is up to. Is this how we do this? Where's my steel recipe? Uh, nope, uses. Really, we should be able to do this by now, but um, I forget how. Six charcoal and two iron. I, could, I was way off. <laughs> you go here. I have, uh, between episodes, I've spent a lot of time watching uh, The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, as mentioned, and have therefore managed to get through a whole bunch of the boring processes of creating uh, ingots of various materials. So I'm pretty sure I've got a whole bunch more stuff just waiting to go. I put this lever here, by the way. Here's a thing I knew you could do, but I forgot. If you have enough for a, um, a block... In fact, it would work here too. If you have enough for a block, then you can pull the lever, which turns this on. This is a uh, redstone enabled high. We've seen us turn this off to enable, uh, to ignore, right? Which means it's always pulling up. That, I don't like that noise. Um, <laughs> stop making it. No, we've done it all. Uh, if you turn that lever on there, it will start sucking the juice out of the smeltery. Uh, I didn't make my steel block. And as a result, Osmium. Uh fill up the the, the 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 casting basin thingy and then as a result of that um 
the hopper underneath it uh, that will I'm not in a fire. Um, immediately just pull the block out again when it's set. So you can turn the lever on and just have it create uh, as many blocks as it can. The trick is to make sure that you uh, empty out any non-block ingots either before you start. Where's my gold gear? I thought I made a gold gear. I didn't. Uh, either before you start or, you know, during and try, try and finish your ingots before it's important that you have finished your ingots. So we've made a, a mob laughter factory, which was what we've been trying to do for the several for the past several episodes. And what we're going to do with this, let's take it down here. This isn't good enough, by the way. First of all, this is way too small, but we can change that now. What was that noise? I don't like it. I think Steam keeps making noises, but it freaks me out because I <laughs> don't expect Steam to make noises because uh, quiet Steam. I do run Minecraft through Steam. And the reason I do this is because then I can play Minecraft while watching the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt on my laptop downstairs. Well, I watch it on Netflix, but I play it on my laptop downstairs. Uh, that way, I can do two things at once, or more than two. Um, but I, it means that Steam overlay works <laughs> and i'd rather it didn't sometimes i kind of wish it would just shut the heck up so i uh, in in this whole series i'm not going for an aesthetically pleasing look in the sense of hiding all of my wiring and stuff because this is what direwolf does a lot um hides all his wiring and makes basements and all this sort of thing which is fine because it looks great when you do it if that's what you want to go for and then up above ground you have just uh just machine rooms right it's just Ah, uh, you know what, let's let's leave this open, because for now, we're not going to worry about it too much. And then, um, but it's not my way of doing stuff, because honestly, I think it looks more visually interesting to leave all the, the industrial stuff all around the place. So here we are with our mob slaughter factory. We're going to put this here. What does this do? Well, it kills mobs in front of it. I'll show you where. Show working area. Here. Where do the mobs spawn? Yeah. Can you see the problem? I can too. You can create a range upgrade. And this is going to be from the range. This. There's a range add on for industrial forego. And there are different tiers. You see that? Tier 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The um, tier they're at determines how much of an effect they have. Is this any paint? Yes. We could make one of these. A tier 1 is lapis and basically the same. A tier 2 is iron. Really? And a tier 3 is tin. Honestly, a tier 3 might be correct. But we'll come to that. What we also want to do is make sure that we have power in here. Now, I did this earlier um, down here. Sort of a, a whim. I think it might be the correct thing to do because now it's not lined up. And that really upsets me. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. Um, I think I'm okay with this, actually. Let's... I don't want to make it uh, an even number wide, because that makes it really difficult to play with. But if we just go through here, bump, and uh, can we dig away this without too much trouble? I think we'll just dig away a 2x2. Two two, or 2x1, two I should say. Um, and this is going to be... I'm, I'm a, very much of the Bob Ross method of uh, Minecraft design, which is a happy little accident sort of thing. If things work out well, they work out well. And if they don't work out well, then we'll tough. <laughs> right? Um, so let's make it three by one. And what this means we're going to be able to do is have... Um, I'm going to remove this uh, thing down here as well for now. Excuse me. Why did you... Laggy weird. Okay, uh, let's get this lit up ever so slightly. By the way, I pressed F7 to see those things on the floor. If they're red crosses, mobs will spawn uh, when you're far enough away. If they're yellow crosses, which we're not going to see, they will spawn at night, uh, which means that the daylight will prevent them from spawning, basically. Uh, let's get rid of this and this and this and this. Uh, I'm going to try and avoid getting too distracted, but I'm not going to promise anything, because what I do want to do... It occurs to me that I can just uh, make a, a void upgrade for that, and then I can just get rid of all my cobble that I don't want, of which I have plenty. Um, we are going to get our leadstone conduits now. Flux ducts here. 
See, this is what I'm talking about. I just want this stuff to look nice. In a fun way, not in a overbearing way. I just want everything to be that little bit more haphazard. Oh, there it is. Hooray. So I, I'd rather use up materials and make things look interesting than um, try and be as efficient as possible for every little tiny little thing. Because that's not the way I, that's not how I roll. Okay? It's not me. I ain't that guy. I ain't never going to be that guy, so don't try and change me, sister. Um, what we could do, in fact, is... This seems fun. Let's do this. Uh, line this up here. There's no reason for me to do this. This is absolutely and completely and utterly uh, essentially quite random. How about that? Does that seem good? Uh, I am just going to make this go down here because we can. Perfect. I am a god of Minecraft. At some point, we're going to want to replace all of these flux ducts with uh, better ones. Oh, I'm not that much of a god look because I made a mistake. Put that away. I know I was saying about happy little accidents, but not everything is a happy little accident, okay? Sometimes it's a, just a horrible mess. So, I'm going to go like this. You can't make me feel bad with this sort of wiring because I refuse to be intimidated by you people. I know your type, okay? You will bully and cajole and everyone will be made to feel bad at your hands and I am just, I'm not into that, right? This is my base and I will have wiring going all over the flipping place if I want to. Okay, I'm gonna have random bits all hither and thither, stone, and just stop trying to change me, man. What? Why have I got a faucet? I do not know. Also, you can sort of just bounce. Look, it's great. It's perfect. It's exactly what the doctor ordered. And it uses materials. I think the thing is, <laughs> I can use materials in copious amounts. Uh, and you can't stop me. Because in between episodes, I'm just going to play a whole bunch of um, Minecraft downstairs on my laptop. Streaming it across Steam. Uh, and watch the unbearable Kimmy Schmidt. So that's all. So this is me. I have decided that the first time we have a mob farm it is going to be full on. We are using a mob slaughter factory. If we turn this off, always active. This is now going to be chomping. Are you chomping? Chomp? No? I don't know. Uh, so we can, um, we have two tanks. Oh, interesting. Didn't know you could do that. Energy, energy items. Oh, okay, you can charge it with items that have energy in them, and you can also fill up uh, fluid containers by filling up. So this has two tanks, one with liquid meat in it and one with pink slime in it. That's what we're here for in the first place, apart from the fact that there's you know, ender pearls involved as well. Um, I really should have more um, just crafting tables hither and thither. Let's say hither and yon, that sounds nicer have crafting tables hither and yon because I need them every so often. Um, let's make some slabs. The reason we want slabs is that we can um, sort of put them across like this. Darken this area now. We do want mobs to spawn. Slabs block light. Which is important. Because we want light to be blocked. Oh, I should have put these at the top. This is not correct. Mobs won't spawn, in case you didn't know. If you're new to Minecraft, that's allowed. Um, mobs won't spawn if uh, you're close, if you're nearby, right? So it's still quite dark in here. I wonder if this will put a cobblestone here. And I believe that um, I believe that all light is blocked by by by, by slabs, even though they're half a block. So don't worry about it. It's Minecraft physics. It happens. The mobs will still spawn over there, but you'll notice that, of course, they're not going to get injured anywhere but in this area. There's two ways we can deal with that. We can push the mobs towards this area, which is an option, and I might come back to that option pretty soon. The other option is that we... Um, I don't like this design now. Let's shorten this. And then we can do this. Um, the other option is that we um, make the working area bigger. 
is usually an option. It seems like a good one as well. Let's just uh, put a couple of slabs. The other thing about slabs is that mobs won't spawn on them ever. They can't. It's just in the nature of Minecraft. It just won't allow it. Will not put up with mobs spawning on slabs. And I agree. I think it's despicable that mobs would even try. So this is uh, a good way up and down here. Would work fine. We can um, mimic that on that side. So what did we do? We took these two away from here. And then we took... Oh, that's going to still be there. Eh. <laughs> uh, all of this. Right. Okay, fine. Oh, come on. Axe. Stone. I don't believe you. And then this, this. Right? Yes, we also deleted this. And then this, and this, and this. And this. this makes it just easier to um, be here and get into this. Which we're going to want to do in a minute. Uh, we could also just come in this way, of course. <laughs> this is why I like making bases that just have random stuff. And constraints breed creativity, which is what Northern Lion always says. Uh, so... Uh, I'm very much inclined to agree. When we come back, we might find things being attacked, which I hope will be the case. Uh, let's just put this here. And then we can make another slab just to finish this off. Go. Oh, what are you doing? Great. That's all very well and good, and mobs may start dying soon, but we would like to make a range upgrade, and I believe the tin one is probably the one we want to make. So I'm going to try it. Have we got any plastic? Oh, loads of plastic. Perfect. Uh, tin. Go. And a piece of glass, I think. We need more glass. Oh, we've got 22 glass. Okay, cool. I don't think we have any panes already, do we? Pain. Um, so we'll make a glass pane or 16. Let's have 6 turns into 16. Can you just be a little bit better about that? Uh, range add on. And then we want tier 3. Tin. So now when we come back, we can have a look at what this does. It may even be the right one to begin with. If it's not, it's not. Um, the mobs will eventually wander into the space anyway. If we turn on the uh, working area, that's there. We install this, and it's now there. Why are you not hurting the mob? We need to turn you on, active, without resonance signal. Dead! See that? That is one dead heckin' mob. So, here's what happens here. I believe the mob slaughter factory does not cause the enemies to drop items. But it might do, so I'll come back and learn about that at some point. There are options for that as well. Break this down and see. It didn't drop an item, but that doesn't mean that it wouldn't. It could be a, a random chance. But there's another one called the Mob Grinder. Grinder? Pinned Mob. There is the Mob Crusher. The laughter factory that we know about, a duplicator and a detector. So the crusher, I think, is the one that will let us collect items from it. So for now, not too bothered as long as we're getting liquid meat and pink slime. Pink slime is the big thing because we need pink slime to do one of the things that we were looking at. But we are going, we, bleh, we are going to want a mob crusher if we're ever going to want ender pearls. But there are options for ender pearls that are not just the mob farm. But I don't know if I want to do them. So. Let me give you a little cut here. I'm going to see about those other options and see how feasible they are and whether we like the idea of them. And I will uh, come back in a couple of minutes with a plan. But until then, uh, just hang out. All right, so the thing that I thought would work will work. And do you remember this? Yeah, that was a bad thing to stand in. So I'm not going to do that. Well, <laughs> I'm going to try not to do that again. Um, I'm not going to say that I won't because uh, that would be silly. I'm going to pick it up though. There we go. Right, let's get rid of that. Um, if we put this back in the barrel, we can start... Uh, I mean, I might as well just leave it here for now, because then I'm going to fall into it by accident. But the other thing is we want that to be in there for later. Uh, one of our quests is to craft a porcelain doll, which we can do. Porcelain doll, uh, which is porcelain clay and an emerald or a diamond. And interestingly enough, I have way more emeralds than I do diamonds, and I've got a reasonable amount of each. So uh, I'm not bothered too much by using that. I think I've got some porcelain. I have, but I need some more. Uh, pressing R when you're not pointing at a thing is silly. Don't do it. Porcelain clay is easy. We need three more of these, which is just a little bit more this. And then 
Uh, I might as well use the emerald because apparently they're a lot more <laughs> common. It's what happens when you watch that much Kimmy Schmidt. Three of these. No. Three of these. Some of that. There we go. Porcelain doll. Porcelain doll. Thank you. Six porcelain dolls you get from that. So we have completed a quest. Huzzah. Aren't we good? Random reward. Uh, some sort of induction. It's an induction smelter. Yeah, that's one. Well, that's all right. Now we've got two. Could have given me that just uh, one episode earlier. Maybe if I'd done the quest. Oh, storage. We have created a compacting drawer. Did I tell you about this? I think I did. Spawner changer. That's handy, actually, because it can... Um, it literally just changes the nature of a mob spawner. Well, I never say it's handy. No such thing as this. If you put um, cobblestone in here, for example... Like this you can pull out the cobblestone you can pull out compressed cobblestone or double compressed cobblestone if you have enough of any of them right uh sorry what what happened here you think i've got i'm so confused it says i've got um anyway i think that's a bug never mind that uh, basically, it compresses what you've got. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite work with sand because it tries to turn sand into sandstone, not into compressed sand. So that's not the idealist thing. What happens if you put these in? I'd like to find out. But that might be a good way of turning all of those into the pieces that we can then feed into um, the, the machines that will turn them into multiple things. I think you can... If you... Uh, let me just kind of check something real quick. We're learning together. If you use this, you can uh, turn it into lead or chunk. That's what we've been doing. If you do this, can you pulverize it? Yes. If you pulverize it, you get two pulverized lead. The pulverized lead you can cook in any uh, anything, basically, to turn into one lead. So you can turn... I mean, we already know that you can turn one of those into two lead through this. You can also do it through the automated system that we sort of got set up over here, which is going to become a lot bigger in the future, so don't worry about that too much. Doesn't that look fun? Um, I would like to, first of all, if you have a look at the the industrial, what's the name, uh, mob crusher, it is an option that we use both of these, right? And this is fairly easy to make. Books are easy to make because we have all of these. Excuse me? There we go. Or of these. I'm going to do this, by the way, whilst we're talking about it. Books are fairly easy to create because you just need some of those, a bit of string. I think it's just two pieces of string, and then a whole bunch of paper, which is sugar canes. There we go. Uh, maybe a bit more paper. And then uh, books. So if we have two books, this one, yep, then we can make this mob crusher because it doesn't require the. Oh, bash the mic, bash the mic, don't bash the mic. That sounded like my uh, dubstep uh, foray. I'm starting off a new band, which is just going to be uh, all the things that I say on camera, I didn't mean to say, set to a background of pseudo dubstep. Um, let us... My brain. Here we go. Mob crusher. So we want uh, enough stone for a couple of... Oh, we need four. That's four more. Go. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Two of these. No, can I not use cobblestone for this? One, two, three, four. Okay, my mistake. Uh, four stone gears. One, two, three, four. And then uh, four gold gears. And then, so now this one, you have an option. There's one, two, three, four different machine cases you can put in the middle. This one, one, two, oh, actually there are four. Uh, I actually think this machine frame is easier to make. It's a tin gear, which is another stone gear, so we should have got one more of those. Uh, and it is uh, just iron and glass at that point. So do we even have the iron? Yes. We should just be able to do this. And then this. Oh, we need a sword. One more sword, please. Not ten. Just one. Do right, you know what? Let's make a second one, because... Why not uh, have one <laughs> to hit things with for now? Because just in case something escapes or something like that, something spawns somewhere we didn't think about. I have 
managed episode 11 without making a sword. So I think that's good going. This one, please. And we have a mob crusher. Now, the thing we could do with this is to chuck down here. Bump, bump, bump. Leg it down here. Uh, we can turn this area off if you don't very much mind. Look how well we're doing. Look, we've got loads of liquid meat and uh, we're going to need a lot more pink slime than that, but we're getting there. Uh, we can just do this. Now they've both got charge. This one is not switched on. Uh, and this one is. So what we can do is make a couple of levers. The right way around. And then put one on here and one on here. And then we can both of them say active on redstone signal, right? Active on redstone signal. That one's now switched on. Or we can turn this one on and get the drops. The reason I'm not going to do that just yet is that we have no way of collecting those drops. Also, uh, this has probably got the same problem. Show working area. It's just that block. <laughs> That's just silly. Um, this one actually has a deeper working area. So what I might be persuaded to do is uh, swap them around. So let's go and get another range add-on because I think we have the right size. Let's, uh, let's pick this up because what we can do is... Is this how you do it or just a pickaxe? That works. Um, if we just put it down in the world, we can see the size of the working area. And then we can judge whether our selection is... Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to turn it. There we go. So you uh, should be active on Redstone Signal. Uh, let's not do anything. Okay. I thought the animation would stop if it wasn't active. It's not the case. Let's get um, another range add-on. Range add-on. And I think I'm going to make another tin one. The thing about the tin one is it is also kind of the cheapest. And I think that's on purpose. Um, because... The it's it's a balance thing basically. With the various different types of add-ons, some of them you want the range to be only a little bit bigger because having it too big is a big problem. Some of them you want them to be hella bigger. You see that goes upwards but not downwards, right? Meanwhile, if we go and swap these round, we take this one, put it in the same place. We put this one in with a got that range add on tier three and show working area. Well, that goes up and not down. Hmm. Okay, we might need to do this differently then. I mean, another thing we can do look how much bigger that is than it needs to be, by the way. So that's also fine with me. All right, let's do this um, a little bit differently instead of this. I'm going to this this might be bad by the way this might be no good at all for <laughs> for various reasons but let's let's do it anyway because uh, we can and this one too and take this off and do this I do want to do this temporarily but it's not going to be a permanent thing and then um put a range oh, I wonder if this will work. If I put the lever down there, let's put these in first. I'm experimenting here. I should have done this off camera, but I didn't know that I needed to, so I, I didn't do it. Uh, let's have a look at the working area. It doesn't quite cover most of it, but um, or all of it, I should say. It doesn't quite cover all of it, but it, it does cover most of it. And honestly, I think that suffices because also they, have, they seem to have a different range with the same range add on, which kind of makes some sense, I suppose. Um, we might be able to do... Can we do this? No. We might be able to do this. I don't know if this would work. Um, also, I don't know how to tell if it's doing anything. Uh, on redstone signal. I guess we... Oh, what does this do? I have no idea. <laughs> it could be what we want or it could not be what we want. Anyway, these will both uh, do different things. I'll turn this one on and then if we come back to find... Oh, I didn't... Ah, I forgot to... Got to drain the liquids, which is something we're going to want to do, by the way. Which means I can't put that there. We really need to get into Ender IO. Because this would be so much easier with Ender IO because they could all go into the same side. So we'll think about that for the future very soon. Um, So... 
We've got set up what we wanted to get set up. That will produce us pink slime. With pink slime, we can start making all the other things that we really wanted. Um, but for a while, we're going to have to sort of suffer without. We should probably cook up all of this as well. <laughs> so, well, that was a good episode, actually. I managed to get done the things that I did want to get done. Uh, not you, you. Um, however, there is plenty more to do. There's a couple of things that I wanted to get into that I don't think we're going to have time to get into on account of how that seems like a good time to wrap up the episode. So thank you for watching. In the next episode, I'm probably going to do something with that witch water that we put back into there. And I'm probably going to do something about storage because this is a mess and I'd rather it was a more entertaining mess than the current mess that it is. But until then, thank you for watching. I hope that you are enjoying this series and particularly this episode, which is the latest one I've done and therefore the one that I'm most attached to. And until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you.